lovely. Covered in spiders. <laughs> Well, this has got a cracking view right down to Lockhart Gig. Not bad at all. It's going to be a fun weekend, folks. Today it's just Kevin and I doing these two corbits by Lockhart Gig. But tonight we're going to meet up with the rest of the gang. My friend Ian, he's doing his Scottish Triple Crown, which is the Grahams, the Corbetts, and the Munros all over one weekend. And uh, he's got a party of about 20 odd folk staying at the outdoor centre. Me and Kev, we are slumming it tonight at the campsite in Morvik. I've got the honeymoon tent with me. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to plod up this first mountain, but I'll keep you posted on how we're getting on. That's a really nice sort of U-shaped valley there. And you've got the Munro Miona Tanga just over there as well, which you do from Loch Lochy. <laughs> typical, typical. Camera falls over. Right, that's us on the first Corbett of the day. That took uh, literally about three hours to get here. So now we've got a bit of a traverse round to Corbett number two. Easy peeps, man. That wind is weird picked up. So these fence posts here are good for navigation when the cloud drops and you're in the mist Right, that's us at the base of the second Corbett of the day Gale Carn, it's less than 200 metres pull up so that's a bonus and those fence posts led us all the way Hiya Alright pal Hiya Bob <laughs> So hi, let's go Well, we're just making our way down off the, the last Corbett. Get ourselves down onto that track pronto and back to the car and to this campsite. Happy days, folks. We're back on the track that we started on this morning. It's half four, so start the half ten. So what's that? Is that six hours so far? Probably about another hour to the car and then we need to get ourselves to this campsite. So what I'll do is I'll motor on and we'll bring you back at the campsite. Right folks, we have arrived at Morvik and we're going to get pitched. We've got the Van Gogh bad boy here. It's the Feta 300 so let's get this up big storm coming in tonight so hopefully the the tent can handle it hey kev <laughs> you'll be snuggling up again. hi snuggling up <laughs> right folks we are pitched the van gogh bad boy is up the feta 300 <laughs> nice three man tent plenty of space Right folks, we're just cooking up dinner. Tonight we have got some 
cheesy pasta, keep it simple. We've got the Ida Hohen mashed potato. There we go folks, dinner is served, some proper camping stodge. <laughs> Hey right, folks, right, it's time for bed. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning campers. It's literally like half seven and uh, I meant to be meeting up with others in half an hour. Um, I don't know if this walk's going to go ahead. I'll go ahead but I just can't see us getting to the summit. The weather forecast is really grim. This storm Betty is coming in this afternoon. So the plan is we're trying to get up to the summit before the, the worst of the weather comes in. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed we get to the summit but it's, it's not looking promising. Oh, anyways, I'm just boiling a kettle, get some porridge on the go. I think Kev's going to give it a miss as well. It's, um, he's not feeling great so he's just going to chill out, try and get some sleep. It was like really windy last night, so uh, then the rain arrived, so neither of us got any sleep at all. <laughs> That's not our group, there's two completions today up Blavin. Now in the, the Blavin death zone, queuing up. <laughs> Bit of a bottleneck happening. So, Ian being Ian, he's branched off to do a more sporting route and do Blavin's south top with a small group. All well, the rest of us are going to head up this tourist path instead. Well, we are literally just under the summit of Blavin. We're sheltered by the rock at the moment. I think we're going to get exposed right in that summit. Summit just up there. Got people huddled over there. Some of the faster folk. Nicely done. Thank you. <laughs> right, we're uh, us up on the ridge just below the summit now. Just a short walk up. Hopefully it's not too exposed. So now it's a waiting game for the rest to catch up And Ian obviously coming up from the south top as well So myself and Cathy are just sitting here waiting patiently So that's him just assembling the, the guard of honour He'll come under the trekking poles Right, whoever catches the cord gets a free pork pie tonight. Well, I think he might be sitting down there. Down there. 
Hey, come on. <laughs> Right folks, it's time to bail. That wind is fair, creeping up in speed since we've arrived. That's the two completions done now, Ian and Donna. I think what I'm going to do is just put this camera away for now and get over all this wet rock and uh, we'll bring you back later on once I'm a bit further down. So yeah, I'll see you then. Get wired in, Kev. <laughs> Speech! 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 <laughs> <laughs>